Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about the new movie, Sisu. This movie is directed by Jalmari Halander, who has done nothing of note. The synopsis is as follows. During the last days of World War II, a solitary prospector crosses paths with Nazis on a scorched earth retreat in northern Finland. When the soldiers decide to steal his gold, they quickly discover they just tangled with no ordinary miner. So without further ado, let's get into the six things that make a movie great. One, the plot. The plot of this movie is very simple. A man has decided to turn his back on the war and go looking for gold instead. One day he comes across a ton of gold and decides to try to go to one of the nearest cities to cash it in. Along the way he runs into some Nazis who then decide to try to steal his gold. And even after finding out who he is and disobeying direct orders, they still pursue him to try to kill him and take his gold. I get the draw that a really simple plot can bring to a movie, but there is no substance to this film. Unless you consider a Finnish man slaughtering Nazis and there being blood and gore everywhere as substance. What this movie turns into is the Nazis having chance after chance after chance to turn back and not continue to attack this man who's just slaughtering them, but they still choose to pursue him. And even though they've had him dead to rights multiple times where they all could have just opened fire and killed him, they didn't. They just sat and watched him because plot. But they continue to pursue him because they figure they're losing the war and they're all gonna die when they get back to their homeland so they have to go steal his gold because that's their way out. To me that's like the whole Cheeto in the door lock meme. It's like yeah but this guy's killing all of you in droves so why do you think that that's gonna be any better than going home and dying? There's not much story to enjoy here and honestly this movie pushes past willing suspense of disbelief, past ridiculousness, past insanity. And even when you turn your brain off it's not that enjoyable. And when you get to the end of the movie, you don't feel satisfied. You're kind of just glad that it's finally over. So for me, plot gets a thumbs down. Two is family friendliness. <laughs> no, this movie's not family friendly at all. There's extreme blood and gore throughout. There's a mild to moderate bit of profanity throughout. There's one very brief instance of rear male nudity. They show something on screen that implies that rape happened, although we don't see it or any other nudity. But clearly the driving force behind this movie and the reason why it's not family friendly are the same. And that's the immense amounts of ridiculous blood and gore that this movie has. So family friendliness gets a thumbs down. Three is acting and script. Jorma Tamila plays Commander Corpy, and his acting performance was the best in the movie, but that's not saying much. One, he only has two lines, and both of those come at the end of the film. And two, honestly it doesn't take that great of an acting performance to just sift your way through Nazis with jump cuts. Nobody else's performance in this movie was worth noting except for a woman named Mimosa. And unfortunately Mimosa was at the forefront of a woman power moment that happened in the movie. And both the lines of dialogue that she had and that moment in general were extremely cringy. In fact, a lot of the dialogue in this movie that did not have a lot of dialogue was extremely cringy. Because basically what you have is a very weak foundation for a story, which is man find gold, man try gold bank, Nazi find man, Nazi try steal gold, man kill Nazi, woman emerge and kill all Nazi because woman strong. It just is so stupid. And it plays out in the movie very poorly as well. But I digress. The point is, acting a script get a thumbs down. Four's character development. Development. Oh gosh. There is no character development in this movie. The only development that you get with Corpy is two people happening to exposition dump on you with, oh, it turns out that he was the most feared Finnish commander. And then three fourths of the way through the movie, you had Mimosa during her girl boss moment say something like, now nah, you will see what happens when you take away everything from someone. And no one else in this movie is even given the attempt at character development. It's pretty clear what this movie's intention was going into it, and that's not to have a good story or character development. It's to kill Nazis and have blood and gore everywhere. So character development gets a thumbs down. Five is visuals and CGI. I really enjoy good action sequences, and I'm not opposed to there being a crap ton of blood and gore. But because it was lacking in everything else, this movie's sole purpose was to have intense action sequences. But like I mentioned in plot, some of the stuff that you see happening is absolutely ridiculous and extends well past the reasonable amount of willing suspense of disbelief. To the point where, kind of like in Fast and Furious 9, you're kind of just sad about what you're seeing on screen because this is what movies have devolved to now. There was one sequence, one underwater sequence, that was actually the first time that I'd seen something like that happen in a movie, and it was disgusting, but it was actually pretty creative and interesting. But everything else that you see in this movie is, for lack of a better term, Nazi gore porn. 
but because there were a couple decent action sequences, I have to give visuals and CGI a 50-50. And six is rewatchability. Sisu is an hour and a half long, but because of the lack of story and lack of good dialogue, this movie feels really, really long. And the more ridiculous things get in the movie, the more it drags out. Again, I get wanting to have a simple story idea and trying to expand off of that while not overcomplicating it, but there was but there was just no substance here. So for me, rewatchability gets a thumbs down. With all these areas considered, I have to give Sisu a three out of 10. This movie had a couple decent action sequences that had a couple creative moments in them, albeit extremely bloody and gory, but it had absolutely no character development, a very weak story, terrible and cringy dialogue, and at the end of the day, purely existed to just show you a man killing a bunch of Nazis in bloody and gory fashion. I'm not opposed to making simple movies like this, but the way that this one was overall was just really bad. So even if you don't mind blood and gore and you're still looking for an action war type movie, this one's just a bit too far out there for me to recommend anyone going to see in theaters. Thank you so much for watching. If you've seen Sisu, please let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. As always, I appreciate your love and support, and I'll catch you guys and gals in the next one.